There's so much going on at BCIT every day. With over 45,000 students and 2,600 employees across our five campuses, we don't always get a chance to see the innovative and exciting work of our peers. In this video series, we take a peek inside some of the accomplishments of our BCIT community. Today we're talking to Danica and Jackie. Danica is the Vice President of Campus Planning and Facilities and Jackie Jacob, Executive Director of the BCIT Foundation. Jackie, how has that INSPIRE campaign benefited students, staff, faculty, and alumni as partners? We've really, through INSPIRE, been able to build a community of philanthropy, um, really demonstrate to folks what, uh, what we can do when we all come together in support of, of projects that matter. The campaign really revolved around three key pillars. One was campus renewal, things like this, this building, excellence in teaching, the simulation tools, the equipment, all the things that students and faculty need to access to, to deliver the education and receive the education, and also to remove barriers to allow folks to attend BCIT, uh, whether it be through uh, bursaries or awards. And the real uh, responsibility every day goes to Danica. Danica, tell us about your role and how you as well move forward in supporting the education for BCIT students. Thank you, Kathy. I'm very excited with the opportunity to help support uh, students and BCIT on their path. Um, today we are in a health and science building. I'm so happy. It's such a, an amazing um, structure, demonstrating leadership in architecture, design, and construction and engineering. Building is around 100,000 square feet. Uh, it is net zero building. And net zero really means it's self-sustaining. We have lots of features such as charging stations for both cars and bikes. And we happen to have mother geese right now getting their young ones, which is really a great symbol of how we can live with nature in harmony. I want to also mention our focus on indigenous aspects. As an example, in this building we will have feature wall um, created by indigenous artists, as well as a donor wall. The spaces are really having the most uh, contemporary technologies around three-dimensional learning, uh, simulation labs, which will really equip our students well. We will have 7,000 new healthcare workers every year. So I think um, people and community will notice a big change in this. This is one of the many projects on your plate. Uh, tell us about other projects that are near to starting or are underway as well. Uh, right now we are really busy with student housing tall timber structure, as well as starting off with trades and technology complex. Uh, another example is Tech Collider in our downtown campus is going to provide, again, technology and opportunity for collaborative labs, for maker labs and for our students to meet and work with industry, which is really, really important. Jackie, what's next for these campaigns and, and how, how can the community get involved? The work is not done. Um, this is just, this project is just the first building of many. So we know that, um, you know, Danica and her team have a vision um, to really rebuild the campus in a, you know, living, breathing, um, fun campus to be at. Um, and uh, our team is going to continue to raise money and based on, you know, the alumni that have come through BCIT, the donors, the industry partners that rely on our students, um, they'll continue to engage with us uh, and through that we'll be able to contribute even more to the success of BCIT. Thank you so much for what you do and have done and will continue to do. And thank you for the opportunity to share what we've done.